so I'm actually going to be sharing my Ancestry DNA results in this video. I am so excited. I probably watched like every video there is on YouTube of people sharing their results. So I'm so excited to check them out. They just came in this morning and I think I actually received the test uh, June 27th and I shipped it off June 28th. They received it July 1st and today is August 1st so it's actually taken exactly a month which was a lot sooner than I expected so that's great. I was expecting it to take a lot longer actually. Um, yeah, I, um, I've always had an interest in genealogy and ancestry and family and where we come from. I actually studied anthropology. Um, I've been working on like family tree building for years now. Um, so this is really exciting. I actually took another DNA test a few years back with DNA tribes and I was always kind of uh, unsure of how accurate that test actually was. So I'm excited to see how this uh, compares to the DNA tribes test. So I, I won't make this video very long, um, but just a little background on me. I am African American. I have two African American parents. Uh, my dad was born in Mississippi. All of his family is from Mississippi. Uh, my mom is from Philadelphia. Uh, but all of her, her mother's family is from Virginia and her father's family is from South Carolina. So, um, yeah, I'm not really sure what to expect. <laughs> a lot of people have their predictions. I, I kind of have an idea, like a prediction of what my results will be. Um, based on what I've seen in other people's videos and what I know about my family, I'm guessing that I'm about 80% African. It could be a little more, it could be a little bit less, but I think it's probably going to fall around 80%. Um, maybe 18%, 17 or 18% European, and then maybe 2 or 3% for something else, like a surprise or um, like maybe Asian or something. So yeah, that's what I think. I'm actually really nervous, but I'm going to check them now. The email says, great news, your ancestry DNA results are in. See my results. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. Okay, video just popped up. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> okay, so the first thing that comes up is African. I am 75% African. Wow. <laughs> so it's kind of in line with what I thought. I actually thought maybe like 75 to 80% African was actually 75% African. <laughs> and within that 75%, I am 26% Nigerian. Wow. <laughs> I'm more Nigerian than anything else. That is crazy. Oh my goodness. 26% Nigerian. The next is 17% Ivory Coast and Ghana. 11% Benin and Togo. 8% Cameroon and Congo. And then there are trace regions, which make up 13%. The trace regions are 7% Senegal, 4% Africa Southeastern Bantu, less than 1% African North, and less than 1% Mali. Wow, <laughs> this is amazing. Oh my gosh, can't even process this right now. I am 26% Nigerian. I was hoping for one country that would you know, be the majority of my African ancestry that I could actually like identify with. So, hey, I'm Naija. <laughs> okay, the next is Asia. I am 3% Asian. I just guessed that. I'm 3% Asian and it's trace regions. Asia Central, wow. And what is Asia Central? That is Afghanistan, uh, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan, 
that's like the the most concentrated part of that, like the the area they're showing me. So primarily located in Afghanistan, all the stands. Also found in Iran and Pakistan. Wow. <laughs> Oh my goodness, wow. And then the last region is Europe. I'm 22% European, and of that 22%, I am 15% Great Britain, so I'm British, I love that. <laughs> I love British culture, I love London, that's exciting. And then, um, 5% Irish, less than 1% Finland, Northwest Russia, and less than 1% Italy and Greece. It was amazing. So my predictions were pretty, almost spot on. It was pretty close. Wow. That's amazing. That's amazing. Um, so I'm thinking maybe the Asian could be Native American. I'm not sure like how it shows up in ancestry DNA. I mean, I've heard of a lot of like black people thinking, you know, there's always like a story from a grandmother that told you that, you know, someone that they had Native American ancestry. Um, a lot of people expect that, but they don't see it. So um, maybe that's what this is. I actually want to try running my DNA through GEDmatch to see it, how it compares. Okay, so I'm back. I was looking a little bit more closely at the ethnicity estimate and looking closer at the regions and everything. So now I wanted to look at the DNA matches and it tells me that I have 137 fourth cousins or closer. Wow. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to view all the DNA matches now. Wow, so there's 62 pages. This is gonna take me some time to review, so. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So they tell me that I have one, two, three, four, five third cousins. Yeah, and the confidence is all extremely high for those. There are a ton of fourth cousins in here, and the confidence is all. Um, yeah, this is interesting. So <laughs> I'll cut this video off now. Those are my results. Um, yeah, really exciting. Um, I also want to try, like I said, putting my results in GenMatch and seeing what comes from that. So uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching.